Hello, and welcome to Rose Play, Season 2, Episode 8, where we'll be continuing the Let's Play of D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. Alright, let's get back to Crazy Lady's request. As we have Crazy Doctor Guy watching me do who knows what from back there. Boom, chicka, 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 boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. <laughs> The music that she'd probably play. I can't believe it. This aircraft is full of danger. Your head is full of danger. Anyway. I've been waiting for you. Waiting anxiously. The more I wait, the more scared I get. Well, if not for me, you'd still be shaking in the air, lady. The final phase. Dr. Johnson said this on Ugh. January 26th, 2011. Huh? January 26, 2011? That's the day she died. It says that it was very cold that day, with a record snowfall. Anything else? Oh, there's plenty more. My breakfast that morning, the time I left for work, color of my socks, the amount of... She's down to I the detail. Day, and an emergency case that night. Show me that page. No, it's mine. I'll do whatever you need for the final phase. Anything. Dude, so please, don't ever say anything. Mm, if it means so much to you. Okay. However, the final investigation isn't going to be easy. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be you if it was. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Get older and you'll need the toilet more often. What? That means you need to check the toilets on board as quickly as possible. Go and check that all the toilets can be used within the time limit. Oh. Uh, just make sure That's you keep your promise. Pathetically easy, actually. Get to work. Ready? Set? Yep. This is really the last time. Go, go, go! Better be. Someone's inside, can't be used. So, in all reality, this should be pathetically simple and fast. Slides open, hinges off, lit inside. Can be used, no sign of life, not locked, should investigate. Oh yeah, it's my bathroom, of course we should. Water soap can be used, can be used. Toilet paper can be used, forgot to flush. Water drops can be used. I'm coming back to flush that. The toilets are all... Fine. Yeah, sure they are. Most of them are locked. You checked are. one out. That's good. Now I can grow old in peace. Please, show me the notebook. Mm, just this once. These are my notes, after all, not yours. Obviously. January 26, 2011, heavy snow. Outfit, one pink coat, wool been cleaned four times. Skip. Work from 1702 to 623. Next day, time card ink was... Skip. Evening meal, pizza with salami. 1938, if pieces of salami, skip. Oh, 11. Emergency patient, unstable, unsafe. Night, 254, date, 27th. Gunshot emergency surgery operated on by Dr. R. W. Did you find anything interesting? Didn't see the rest. Whole day in here, which gives it a perfect alibi, even if these notes are fake. So R. W. And there's a doctor over there called Ronald, with a W. Might have been him.
If I find anything else I need you for, I hope you'll help me out. I we'll certainly see. will. Oh, I wait, no, I just skipped right over you. The most dangerous thing. What's the most dangerous thing on an airplane? Oh, there's lots of dangerous stuff. Maybe the number of times a baby has cried. Or How's that dangerous? Are full. Or maybe it's the number of times someone has blown their nose. Although, of course, you have to count the separate directions. But most By the way, Dr. Johnson I mean, called. He told me you escaped from a mental institution. Oh. Oh. Was when the flight attendant screwed up the in-flight announcement and called Massachusetts. Matatutetu. Massachusetts? Matatutetu what? Yes. Can you believe that? No. I'm outraged. Job. Correct yourself. But no, nothing. That will make everybody knew. think that Massachusetts is actually meant to be pronounced Matatutetu. Don't you see how dangerous that is? Please enlighten me. Johnson always says, always admit your mistakes. Number of flights. Do you fly often? No. This is my first time. To celebrate the fifth anniversary of my starting work, Dr. Johnson gave me some holiday and a ticket. Go spread your wings. Literally. That's what he said to me. But you know, I e these here's a ticket. Go away. I'm getting sick of you. I imagine, and the air is so dry. When taking off, I thought my stomach was making a break for it. How am I meant to spread my wings under all this pressure? Um, lock yourself in your bedroom. Note taking frequency. How many notebooks have you filled? Oh, not many yet on this trip. On this Honestly, trip? Two in the taxi from my house, and then three and a half in the airport. Since I got on board, only about one and an eighth of another. So, six? Yes, well, six and a third or so. What's it to you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Huh. That's a very good question. <laughs> That's a very good question that I don't have an answer for. All right. So, let's go ahead and start all the way back here now. All right. So, what can I grab? Bottle of water, credits, pretzels, bandages. Potato chips. Oh, huh, there's the megaphone. All right, let's go ahead and check this. Opening lever, scorch marks from the lightning. That's a nice sun. sunset. It really is. It reminds me of the day I proposed. <laughs> um. <laughs> David, here you look. Your hallucinations are amazing. <laughs> Little Peggy. I mean, I know you love her. Find who killed you. I will. And hopefully find D is not you, but I will say again, that Amazing! You're you're looking outside on her swinging from the sky, just just wow. The 
Door looks fine. I remember her. Nothing abnormal. Emergency door locked. Let's go ahead and save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know why you made her go on a flight. I'm trying to have fun on it. Let's push him. Excuse me. Nope. Excuse me. Okay, a real creep. Doesn't know me. Revenge for before. Glove on one hand. Smells like burning. Struck by lightning. This is a problem. Where is it? Where's Olivia? Tell me. Where did she go? Like I said, sir. She's not aboard this flight. That's impossible. I talked to her. And... And what, sir? Olivia had a gun. A gun? Please, don't even suggest such a thing. Olivia and the gun. She pointed a gun at me. Are you saying Oh, it I seems like a lot things? of women point guns at you. I think you must have. Maybe it was a hey, at least you're doing better than the last detective. Even if she was last girl that pointed a gun at him was possessing a man's body and shot him a few times. It was a Glock 26. I'm very sorry, sir. Perhaps the shock of the lightning has caused you to be confused. Olivia Jones. Whatever the case, I have to talk to her again. Then you'll just need to keep on flying with us. If you get lucky, you'll end up on a flight with her. Eventually. That's not really what I meant. Object of his search. Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you, Are you sure? Are telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. I have lost a glove. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order. Perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. Strange glove. Why? Why so upset about a glove? He's more high strung than he looks. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Now, well, thankfully, moving it has let me found it. Burnt glove. Of course, I don't think you'll be happy that it's a burnt glove now. This is a problem. Where is it? At least you'll be, have, be able to have Kentucky Fried Chicken with it. And the burnt glove. I found the glove. It's all burnt up, though. Ah, thank you so much. That's okay, is it? No problem. I don't want to use it. You oh. don't? So, what's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Mr. Young. This is my problem. Simply recovering sure the glove was the most important thing. Huh? What does he want with a glove that can't even be used anymore? Just being high strung doesn't explain that. I need to probe a bit deeper here. Strange gloves completed. About the emergency doors. Do the emergency doors work while in flight? It's possible to manually switch over to door mode. But just touching the controls to do so causes an alarm to sound in the cockpit. You would be better off not to get any silly ideas, sir. Hmm. What if that alarm was broken? Deactivated. What are you planning? I'm just trying to figure out the method of escape used by Olivia and the Vanishing Man. Method of escape, is it? Number of methods of escape. How many emergency exits are there? How much do you know about the Federal Aviation Regulations? Not much. Hmm. They are the safety regulations... I mean, I would have known a lot more if I would have done your last side quest. With them, 
he he has these whole tests like 10 questions like four times can exit the aircraft within 90 seconds while only using half of them that is what the rules state we call it the 90 second rule 90 second rule so how many emergency exits are there Mathematics are clearly not your strong suit. No, I'm a detective. With I'm just seeing a few now. Can carry almost 140 people. Let's say 30 people can escape from one exit in 90 seconds. That would be one person every three seconds. Dividing 140 by 30 therefore indicates that at least 4.6 exits would be needed. Hmm. Now, twice that are required by the regulations, which means the required number of exits is nine or more that means even you and your lack of math skills have a chance to escape sir yay for math skills cockpit windows and please stop Did that you creepy smile escape by opening the windows in the cockpit the cockpit windows do not open you aren't as smart as you look mr young indeed the construction of the seat and cockpit windows is very different while the seat windows are three layers of polycarbonate resin, the cockpit windows We're learning about plain facts today. Glass and polycarbonate resin. Seat windows are 14 millimeters thick, but the ones in the cockpit uh, I guess it's all right if you like planes. Passenger windows are designed to withstand external pressure, but the cockpit windows have to be able to withstand collision. Unfortunately, pressure. Sheldon Cooper would go poo poo on you because you're not a train. Sir, please. Oh, I guess the airplane knowledge. Oh boy, I guess it was this. You know quite a bit about this airplane, don't you? It's only natural. Our passengers' safety may rely on it. Natural? I'm not sure I'd use that word to describe your encyclopedic knowledge. And I'm not sure I'd use the word encyclopedic. I would. Why? This level of knowledge. Even you could easily attain it, Mr. Young. Yep. Easily? Yes, very easily. How? Why, by taking a quiz. And I will be your quiz master today, yes, Liquid Snake. To remember almost anything. Welcome to you Airplane to Knowledge of Usefulness. Aircraft Trivia That's Beginner. Like I guess it was this turn. Line. I thought it was last, but... I'll give you some simple questions. All you need to do is answer them. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Oh, and I completely forgot how the game works. Are you ready, sir? Question. What is jet fuel made from? Uh, I love. <laughs> um, nitroglycerin? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's wrong. You really think nitro-packed steel cylinders are flying overhead? It was worth a shot. Just how many flights do you think go up each and every day? That was a shame. Oh, shut up. Please, try again. I mean it. I will. Well, I was thinking kerosene, but... I figured nitroglycerin would keep the planes up higher. At the same time, figuring uh, they might go boom. You're here for the quiz. Yes. Let's get started. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Question. What is jet fuel made from? Well, again, pretty sure it's not love. If only because... Love isn't free. Kerosene. Hm. That is correct. Kerosene doesn't freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That makes it extremely effective as an aircraft fuel. Good to know. Okay. Next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? One for every passenger. I doubt it's one for every passenger. One for the captain. I'm going to say none because everybody would be fighting over it. Though it's probably going to be one for the captain. Nope. That is correct. Letting an amateur loose with a parachute would do them no favors. Oh, well, if yeah, that too. Happen, don't think about jumping out. 
I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next. You mean fetal position? Pray to God you're still alive. Luck runs out here. We'll see. Question. What are airplane tires filled with? Ooh. <sighs> Drama. <laughs> Um, oxygen? Nope, I didn't think so. This gas needs to handle high temperature and high pressure. Oxygen, meanwhile, is quite flammable. That was a shame. Please try again. I mean it. At least you're being nice about it. I, I do give you props on that. You've been a dick most of this you time, but. My quiz again? You don't know when to give up, do you? No. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I've been told I'm no very persistent intent. until I succeed. You're here for the quiz. I am. Let's get started. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Question. What is jet fuel made from? Well, that's simple. Kerosene. That is correct. Why ask me the same questions? I'm eventually going to get it right, dude. Freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That makes it extremely effective as an aircraft fuel. Okay. Next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? Well, like I had originally said, none because that is there'd be a frenzy over it. An and with a again, we'll amateur. No if something should happen, don't think about jumping out. I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next, the last question at the beginner level. Your luck runs out here. Not really. Question. Because I already answered it wrong. And the third choice is not correct. So, that is mm. correct. Friction with the runway causes aircraft tires to become very hot. When this happens, using nitrogen minimizes the risk of fire. It is also inert, doesn't oxidize, and contains no water, so it doesn't expand. Nitrogen is therefore the perfect choice when it comes to landing and taking off. Oh my, this is quite something. You've cleared the beginner level. Congratulations. Let's have a party. Aircraft trivia beginner complete. And... Intermediate. However, that's all this was. The beginner level. Uh, I know. Next comes the yep. intermediate test. We'll get started as soon as you are ready. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the quiz master isn't done yet. Now, now we're near. Intermediate quiz. Ready for the intermediate quiz, sir? Yes. Think you have what it takes. The now, level but I'm sure if I keep trying. To pass. Question. How can you tell at a glance if an airplane carries passengers or cargo? Well, that one's simple. Windows. That is correct. A cargo plane doesn't have windows. There are no passengers to look out of them after all. Getting rid of the windows also makes the aircraft lighter. And also increases the strength of the body, like for military aircraft. Hmm. Even something like a single window makes a big difference to an aircraft. Now then, question two. Question. Why is the air very dry inside an aircraft? Uh, water carrying capacity restrictions. So washing... Dries well? Jeez. To prevent condensation. That is correct. Oh. At high altitude, Thanks, Connect, but okay. I was kind of going to say that one anyway. Guess the Connect's smarter than I am. In the air would cause condensation to form. If that water rusted or froze, it could block pipes, ah. causing all sorts of issues. That's why the air inside of the aircraft is kept very dry to keep the aircraft safe. Now then, question 3. Question what do the pilot and co-pilot have prepared for them separately? I'm going to say they're meals. Only because if that both of correct. them get sick off the same thing. 
It prevents both of them suffering from food poisoning. Everyone has heard that, though, haven't they? Yes. Or something similar. Kings let their jesters or something try their food, so... Before they even take off. Always think of the worst possible scenario and act accordingly. We are true professionals. Now, next question. Question. Why are the internal lights turned off when landing at night? Hmm, that's a good uh, question. Ah, getting eyes accustomed to darkness sounds about right. Oh, that is correct. To get the passengers' eyes. Well, we don't want a um, Ronald Reagan, I think it was, who this is also fell getting off a plane. Now that wouldn't be good. A lot of ceiling. At the intermediate level, you are Woo! doing well. Question. Where are airlines legally obliged to place ashtrays on board? Pilot seats. Um, I've never really seen any on board, so I'm going to go lavatory since I've never really seen in there. Well done. That is correct. Of course, smoking is not allowed, but mm. some people don't always obey the law. Failure Isn't that the truth? Dispose of a cigarette could cause an accident. So, even though they aren't allowed to be used, lavatories must have ashtrays. What's more, these regulations were also stipulated by the Federal Aviation Administration. So the FAA. Hmm. Well, five questions in a row. I know, and I didn't even mess up this time. Thought. Aircraft trivia intermediate, I believe now is the final one, master. We aren't finished yet, however. Oh, I the bet not. Level still oh, is it advanced? We'll start as soon as you are ready, sir. Well, that'll be next episode. Immediate. So next is advanced. Not a problem. I saw this coming. I think we all did. Yeah, Charlie. Mm hmm All right. Are those all the answers for the next one? Awesome. We just cheated for the next quiz. All right. We'll go ahead and leave it here tonight for airplane knowledge. I I mean, crazy man. Um. Oh, right. D4. We'll leave it here for, for D4. So, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe if you really, really liked it. Feel free to share with your friends, more people that know the better. Um, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, like or dislike, I don't really care which. Um, either one helps. Just if you decide to dislike, let me know why. Maybe I can try to improve, get better, so on and so forth. So, this was Season 2, Episode 8 of Rose Play. Come back for Episode 9. I am your host, Orion Moonrose. And remember, keep gaming and never give up. Especially when it comes to the quizzes.